So yeah, episode two, the magical turnabout, which probably has Trucy, maybe? Whenever they say magical, I assume Trucy. Meant to be, is it? Well, uh, get that straightened out. And if it is tonight, then we'll just, we'll finish up, but. I mean, it's still fairly early. Don't talk about that, Zonder. Also, that's not how you spell Shrek. It's, hello? W hello? What is this magical gun drop land? Behold my might. What is hap- What is happening? Wow. Burn the witch, I guess. Also, hi, kitty. You just showed- What is happening? It is- Wow, she looks different. Why does she look so different? She looked different. Oh no, she's exploding things. Um, she just captured a dragon in a hat. What is this, Pokemon? Is she famous? Is that how I make money? Because Trucy is ultra famous? Also, how was your stream, Giddy? How are you doing? Yeah, probably because she's older. Yeah, well... God, how old is she now? And that's not, that's a legitimate question. That's not a weird thing to ask. We all know that Maya's been aged up. 17, so it's been two years? Since the last? Because she was 15, I think, before. Because she was 14 in Apollo Justice, right? I think she was 14 and then 15 in Dual Destinies? 16? Or... I, 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 she's young. Penrose Theater? What is- where's Penrose Theater? Whoa! She looks so much taller! What? And that's how we defeated the dra- Okay, okay, God, I can't read the- Ah, the dragon. See you for Act 2, everybody. Okay. Brava, brava, Trucy. Wow, Apollo, wasn't that a great trick? Uh, you bet. I've never seen such a great magic act. Wait, isn't, okay, can I see, yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot, Athena really isn't that old at all. Okay, so she's 17. She changed a whole lot in two years, apparently, but you know, teens. And then Athena, and then look at me, dad. Where's Apollo? I guess because he hasn't talked yet. Yeah, he's 35, he's older than me, which actually makes me, that's, that's kind of reassuring. That makes me feel slightly better about my life, because the Phoenix still doesn't know what he's doing with his life, so I'm okay. Mr. Roos. Okay, yeah, we, we beat Mr. Roos. Bravo, wasn't that a great trick? I don't want to be Apollo. He's got too, he's too pointy and angsty. Just don't, no, I'm not gonna adopt a teenage daughter for fun. He didn't do it for fun. He did it out of duty, I think. Still want to know it? Yeah, probably. Did you know that they even featured Trucy's show on TV this morning? Tr Trucy's, uh, oh, Grammarly Land, because she's the rightful heir, right? Penrose Theater, a well known gateway to success for entertainers. It's here at this famous theater that we'll finally get to see. <gasps> yep. Trucy writes, Trucy in Grabbery Land. <laughs> what the hell? The long awaited revival of the magic of Troop Grammary. Wow, that explains why there's a TV crew here to cover the show. Yeah, Apollo. Apollo, do you not count because we're going from your perspective? Probably. Apollo doesn't exist. He's the faceless hentai protagonist in his harem of. <sighs> Now, you know what? That's actually not good. Let's go back to him just being doofus. Yeah, this is true. Yeah. Wow, that explains why there's a TV crew to cover the show. This is the perfect opportunity to promote the Right Anything Agency. No! Phoenix has enough on his plate taking care of five kids. After all, people look up to things they see on TV, right? But wouldn't they be looking up the talent part and not the law part of our agency? 
Mama Mia, you're right! We'd get nothing but requests from Trucy's fans, wouldn't we? Yeah, good job. Oh well, guess we'll just have to make it the old-fashioned way. By the skin of our teeth. My name is Apollo Justice. I'm quoting him. My name isn't Apollo Justice. I'm a rookie lawyer with only about two years of experience under my belt. We're here to see Trucy's magic show. She's a fellow member of our agency. We came on behalf of our boss, Mr. Wright, who's away on a trip. Oh, did you hear that, Apollo? Yeah. My name is Apollo Justice. I'm fine. Fine. Even though it's her own, it's only her debut, her shows are completely sold out. What, really? That's amazing. Do we get a cut of that? Voila, a star is born. Who knows how far she'll go? At this rate, nothing in the world can stop us. <laughs> uh, you do realize this has nothing to do with you, right? Yeah, Trucy is paying all the bills. Wow. Phoenix going off, having a vacation in another country, and he's like, okay, yeah, um, just foot the bill, Trucy. You're making a bunch of money being famous. I'm gonna go and have a good time somewhere else. This is Athena Sykes. She's another member of our agency. She may not look it, but at just 19 years old, she's a lawyer as well. Make her sound like this is some kind of weird dating site. Oh no! What do you mean she may not look it? Of course I look the part. I mean, you look like you should be in a murder mystery or something, for sure. Oh, I guess that she is in a murder mystery. Oh, I see, she was a part of a murder. Multiple cases in between games that are never shown. Oh yeah, well, I figure. I mean, he's gotta make a living somehow doing like minor stuff. Uh, care to explain how exactly? Nah, oh, come on, have a heart. Stop treating me like a child. <clears throat> that gadget around Athena's neck spoke just now. <laughs> That's Widget, he's dumb because he's her. Widget helps Athena out with her special field of expertise, analytical psychology. He also has a habit of blurting out whatever Athena's really thinking. Yeah, this little guy can be a little unruly at times. Hey, upgrade me already! Bzzz. Your attention, please. The show will restart after a 20 minute intermission. We ask that you please be back in your seats before the next act. Thank you. Hey, uh, why don't we go say hi to Trucy in her dressing room before the break? Oh yes, let's go see the big star. I'm so nervous, what should I say to her? Uh, whatever you usually say to her at the office every day. Yeah, wow, Athena. April 27th, Penrose Theater, rabbits! Dressing room. Man, look at all of the flowers she's gotten. <clears throat> so this is Trucy's dressing room. Looks like she's busy over there with someone. Oh no, she's she's growing into a woman, blossoming. She's making out with somebody in the corner. I know, it's just a staffer. Could you sign this please, ma'am? Sure thing, just one sheet. Just the one sheet in this clipboard, right? Uh, what, is, what did you just sign? Did you just sign your life away? A fan asking for Trucy's autograph, maybe? I don't think so, it looks like some kind of contract. Oh no, should we have read this first? Is she? Thank you very much. I'll give this to the producer right away. Great, thanks. Look at her. Oh, Polly, Athena, you came. Of course, congratulations on your big debut. Oh no, don't put your name in the death note. <laughs> thanks. Uh, who was that just now, by the way? Somebody from Take Two TV. They want to turn my magic show into a TV special. They're planning to broadcast it nationwide. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> Tee hee, I'm gonna be rich. Dad's gonna ride off of this forever. Not tonight, tomorrow, oh, okay. Oh, so, because I know she was still out, right? Or she's still out now? Oh, uh, yeah, understandable, we'll take care of it tomorrow. Yeah, <laughs> can you imagine how famous I'm gonna be? Wow, you really are a big star. Hey, can I get your autograph later, Trucy? Uh, sure, my signature's in high demand today. 
Would you like one too, Polly? Uh, yeah, actually, I would. <laughs> wow! Oops, looks like I ran into flyers, so I'll have to sign your forehead instead. Hey, knock it off! Look, just forget about the autograph. This is Trucy Wright. She's a magician and Mr. Wright's adopted daughter and workhorse. She's becoming quite renowned in the magic world these days for her impressive skills. A lot of people get this wrong, but Apollo's actual job is being my magic assistant. No, you're the one who always gets it wrong. Yeah. Oh, think you can do that little trick you always do at the office for me, Trucy? Whoa, <laughs> excuse me. You don't just ask a lady that in front of company. <laughs> okay. Behold, the wondrous magic that can make anything disappear. No, not the panties! Put them away! Three, two, one, ta-da! That's my badge. My badge! My magic panties are an extra-dimensional galaxy. They always have to bring back the panties. Brava, Trucy, brava! Okay, but why do you always have to make my attorney's badge disappear? Well, that's because out of everyone at the right anything agency, you're the one I get the best reaction out of. That doesn't make my poor badge feel any better. The show. Uh, thanks again for inviting us, Trucy. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Your show sure packs a wallop. I nearly fell out of my seat when that dragon showed up. Yeah, look at that amazing CGI. And when it attacked you, whew, I was terrified, even though I knew it was all just a part of the show. That's good, because that trick is the crowning glory of Act 1, where everybody gets spritzed with just a little bit of LSD. I'm really glad you're enjoying the show. I heard your shows are completely sold out, Trucy. They say your fans were all over the tickets the instant they became available. Like hungry wolves going after their prey. Sounds like you made a loyal pack of followers for yourself already, Trucy. But you two are the only ones who got special VIP and invitation from me. Today's just a dress rehearsal for the performers, staff, family, and friends. Uh, a general probe, huh? That's what they call it in Germany. What? Oh, that, that doesn't sound like... That doesn't sound like anything I want to have anything to do with. Please don't probe me generally. Like, damn, let's calm down with the probing. Uh, the real show isn't until the day after tomorrow. By the way, are you going to finally do your magic panties trick on stage after the break? No, please. Sorry to disappoint anyone who just came to see my magic panties. Wow. Sorry, audience. No can do. But my next trick is completely new. I'm debuting it today. It's a whole magic brassiere. Ooh, a new trick. Are you gonna chop Apollo up into little lawyer bits? Funny, I don't recall ever agreeing to anything like that. Hmm, while that does sound like a good idea, today's trick is a totally new Troop Grammarie original. The entire future of the Troop is riding on the success of this special new trick. Uh, how so? Special new trick. What is it? This show is really important to me. It isn't like any of the other shows I've done. As the rightful heir to the Troop Grammary repertoire of magic, this show is my first chance to unveil the tricks I've invent or I've inherited. Hmm, Troop Grammary, huh? Yeah, I have a poster of them hanging right over there. Oh yeah, the the original. Feels like it's been ages since I've seen a picture of them. Yeah, your dad! Your dad! Oh. Troop Grammary was a group of magicians who dominated the magic world in their day. Trucy is the sole heir to the troop's entire repertoire of stage magic. Hmm? Who's this guy in green and purple on the left here? Oh, that's the great Mr. Ruse, the other magi magician in today's show. 
He used to belong to Troot Grammary too a long time ago, but we didn't bring him up then because it wasn't convenient. Cool. Hey, so tell us more about this special magic you're gonna reveal today. Why would she do that? That would destroy the whole thing. It's a secret Troop Grammary trick left behind by my late granddaddy, Magnify Grammary. It's never been performed before, so this is the first time it'll be seen by the public. And the grand unveiling, huh? No wonder she's been working so hard. Does it involve guns? Yeah. Oh, is it supposed to be mysterious? That's so dumb. Oh. Well, I'd better get going. Huh, where to? To practice my act, of course. The show's only a few days away. Well, I'm still gonna call him Mr. Ruse and piss everybody off. You're really pushing yourself. Didn't you practice until late last night, too? Yep, because everything's gotta be just right. I'm gonna make the localization team cry. Mr. Ruse, that's the dumbest but I've ever heard. Trucy inherited all of Troop Grammary's magic tricks from her father when he died. And the troop's entire legacy is now resting on her shoulders. No pressure! No wonder she's feeling the pressure. I just said no pressure! Looks like everything's going well today, though. Mm, I mean, that last trick was perfect. Grace under pressure, that's me. After all, a true entertainer always keeps a smile on their face. That's the Troop Grammary Creed. Hard to believe you've accomplished so much, even though you're still in high school. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but to tell you the truth, I'm actually pretty nervous. Who wouldn't be? Oh, I bet this would do the trick. You'll be fine, Trucy! If anybody can do it, you can! But, Polly, that was just the boost I needed. Thanks. I love when men scream at me, but they say motivational things. Apollo's fine. Sure has a way of really hitting you right in the heart and in the ears. Enough ragging on my voice already. Uh, Trucy? Oh, hi, Bonnie. Bonnie? Bot, who is this? Is she high? I think she's high. She looks high. It's almost time for the second act. Oh, okay, thanks. Well, Apollo, Athena, enjoy the rest of the show. Break a leg, Trucy. Uh, break a leg, Trucy. Thanks, I will. Oh no, what if she actually breaks her leg? I hope her new trick goes well. Hey, this is Trucy we're talking about. She'll be fine. Ah, my leg is broken. Oh, I wouldn't be so sure. Huh? Performing magic is like walking a tightrope. There's always an element of danger. Wow. One little mistake can even cost you your life, you know. Wow, that sounds incredibly threatening, Bonnie. I wonder if she'll make it across today. Um, and what do you mean by that exactly? It's literally gonna be a tightrope walking thing. She's gonna fall down and maybe die, and then Phoenix is gonna be like, how am I supposed to afford to live the rest of my life if my child isn't making me like a billion dollars? Cannot believe this. <laughs> oh, nothing. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go be cryptic somewhere else. She's gone. What was that all about? Judging by what she said, I'm gonna guess she's probably a magician, too. Come on, Apollo, we gotta get back to our seats now, or we'll be late! Ow! Hey, stop pulling! Okay, let's see. I guess it's time to move back to the stage. Well, I guess I can't search all this cool stuff. Let's go to the stage. Okay, hurry up Apollo, it's about to start. I wanna see what Trucy's next trick is. Gosh, you're really wound up today, aren't you? Now, why don't you take your seat and try to relax? Whoa, look, there's a TV reporter over there with a TV camera and everything. 
Oh, yeah, baby. Athena, sit down. You're blocking people's view. God, I feel like I'm babysitting here. Um... Hello, everyone. I'm reporting from the beautiful Penrose Theater, where the public performance of Trucy and Grammarie Land begins in just two short days. But today, they very kindly agreed to give us a sneak preview. Isn't this exciting? Apollo, do you think I was on TV just now? Wow, what are you, five? How should I know? But if you were, you were disgracing our entire agency. That's for sure. Hey, hey what the heck's that supposed to mean? Hello? Oh, here it comes! Cutscene. Now, give up your dastardly way! Oh god, just a second. It always... <laughs> Continue. Um, what? Over here. Uh, oh no! Whoa! Um, that seemed incredibly violent. Um. Uh, oh no! Mr. Hat! Got. <laughs> what? Oh no, but it's her. Wow. Sorry about the audio, everyone. Okay, okay, just a second. I'm gonna... God, I swear. There's like no way to make it actually not terrible. Okay. Continue. Today. Okay, that's better. All of a sudden, it's working fine now. I swear, is that the end of the cutscene? Wow, wow, it was good at the very end of the cutscene. You think it's always like that? Uh, I just, I, I hate it. Because I'm like, ah, I want it to sound okay. Wow, that was amazing. I have no idea how she escaped that coffin. Oh, really? Ugh. I'm glad Trucy's escape trick went off without a hitch. And when I open the coffin, like this, and you see what's inside, it's- OH GOD! M mysterious But how? I just, I'm just gonna roll with it. I wonder what's going on. He's not getting up. Trucy! No! Trucy, you murdered that man! Oh, come on. How many times is everybody gonna go on trial? Oh, did the dragon just fall too? What just happened? Whoa, man! An accident? Is, like, that guy dead? Wait, uh, that's not a part of the act? Attention, please. For your own safety, we ask that everyone please evacuate the building. Oh, what's going on? Is Trucy okay? Outside, everyone. Evacuate immediately, please. Whoa, hey, stop grabbing me. Trucy! Wow. Damn, we didn't even know this guy for longer than like three seconds, and he's a fucking dad. Well, Penrose Theater. Hey, what gives? Will someone please tell us what's going on? Poor Trucy, I hope she's okay. She's probably being charged with murder. Like every woman who's ever been associated with freaking Phoenix Wright. Hey, here comes the staff member from before. Your attention, please. We regret to inform you that today's show has been canceled. What? But I was looking forward to seeing the rest of it. Uh, we are very sorry, but the theater is on lockdown pending a police investigation. Uh, excuse me, is it because of that accident? That man in the coffin, is he... D um, well, we're still trying to figure things out, sir. <laughs> but I can tell you that Miss Wright is fine. 
She wasn't injured, so please don't worry. Thank goodness she's okay, but she's also going to jail. Hey, you there. Hello? Hello? No, I didn't say Google. I said, hey, you. What the heck is going on? They wouldn't even let me in. Me for crying out loud. Oh, um. I don't really, I don't know. There's too many puns. Mr. Rettens. Mr. Rettens. There was an accident during the show. An accident? Great, just great. That's all I need right now. Do you have any idea how much money we're sinking into this program? Um, and you are? The man behind the scenes, that's who. This is a fine kettle of fish, let me tell you. Spinning all this is gonna be a real pain in my posterior, believe you me. Spinning, as in covering it up? Look, I gotta get inside, seriously. Can't a guy catch a break around here? Oh man, what did you sign, Trucy? We need to know. This seems bad. Well, there he goes. Why don't we go back to the office for now? I'm sure Trucy will call us once things have settled down. Hello, it's me, I'm in prison. Yeah, I guess you're right. Well, I guess we're going to the office. April 27th. Right? Anything agency. Yeah. Why does she still have that spaghetti? Ring, ring. It's no use. I can't get a hold of Mr. Wright. I wonder if something happened to him and Brian. Maybe he got caught up in some kind of trouble again, as always. Yeah, trouble's drawn to him like iron fillings to a magnet, or iron filings. Sorry. Hey, Apollo, speaking of, uh, crying, they're showing something about it on TV right now. I bet Phoenix is there. There's been some surprising news coming out of the kingdom of crying. The country recently saw defense attorney Phoenix Wright win a not guilty verdict. The first verdict of its kind in 23 years. Uh, Mr. Wright won a trial in crying? Lawyers are said to be highly disrespected in the Kingdom of Karain. So Mr. Wright's win was an upset victory amidst entrenched hostility. Wow, did you hear that? The first time in 23 years. Yeah, but what was he doing in court there in the first place? I thought he just went for a visit. Uh, so he was in some kind of trouble, just like we thought. Next, an update on the unfortunate accident that occurred at the Penhouse Pedro's Theater. Hey, now we're talking about the accident at Trucy's show. Famed magician, the Great Mysterious, was skewered with a sword and died on the spot. Oh no, so he really is dead. And now here is the footage of that deadly moment. Oh. Man, that's really low quality footage, actually. Um, okay. Oh, I saw the shadow of Mr. Hat, like, fly up. Okay, but she didn't, oh, wait, does she? Oh yeah, she is the one who stabs it. Oh no. Wow, this cameraman sucks. Shouldn't you do the whole thing? Where's the sword? Who hired this man? Can you zoom out, please? Guys. Wow, this cameraman sucks. And then the dra- Who hired that guy? Mr. Mysterious's body isn't visible in this footage, but these are still very shocking images. I, are they? I can't tell what's going on half the time. The magician, Trucy Wright, is reportedly still only a high school student. Could it be that this unfortunate accident happened during, or due to a lack of proper training? Did the young magician have enough experience, preparation, and knowledge? Some might say that Troop Grammary should be held accountable for this incident. 
Oh, that's bad. Hey, what kind of biased reporting is this? Yeah, they're making it sound like it's all Trucy's fault. Oh, we've just received more breaking news. Oh my, the young magician in question, Trucy Wright, is now under arrest on the charge of involuntary manslaughter. No! Oh, one game. Can we go one game without somebody on our side being arrested? What? What? We will keep you updated as this unfortunate tale unfolds. Stay tuned. Trucy's under arrest? She can't be. Apollo, we gotta do something. Yeah, let's get down to the detention center right away. But before I forget, I think I'll jot a few things down about the case. I'll just open up the court record and make a few notes. I can use it kind of like a to-do list. If I ever get stuck at- Yeah, we know. I remember it from the last game. Oh, son of a- There's just no- no winning. Hi, Trucy. Did you kill that man? Trucy, tell us the truth. <sighs> Poor Trucy. What can we even say to her? Uh, hi, have, did you have fun murdering that man? I mean, are you okay? Oh, Polly, Athena. Trucy, are, are you okay? Mm, I'm fine, don't worry about me. You saw the news about the accident on TV. <laughs> guess I can't Houdini my way out of this one. I got arrested in everything! Wow. They say I'm the one who caused the accident, but that's not true, right? To be honest, I don't really know. I mean, I have no idea how an accident like that could have happened. The trick went off without a hitch, I'm sure of that much. Still, the police just won't listen to me. What if he was already dead and stabbed before he even went into the box? He was already dead! Case closed. Get the high bunny girl. Still, the police just won't listen to me. They've already decided that it was all my fault. Exhausted after all their questions. Looks like she's been able to hang in there at least. Yeah. She really is one tough cookie. I know you're tired, but can you tell us a little bit about the accident? Yes, of course. Go ahead and ask me anything. I'll be, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Uh, for starters, can you help us understand what happened? In today's show, there was a dead body in the coffin. How did that happen? Uh, was there some kind of accident? I don't really know. The coffin was supposed to be empty when I opened it. But instead, Mr. Mysterious' body was in there. It must have been a huge shock for you. And when the dragon set piece fell down at the end, was that an accident too? It must have been. I have no idea how or why that happened either. Nothing went the way it was supposed to. Especially a guy being dead. I still can't believe Mysterious is actually dead. As tough as she is, this is obviously taking a toll on her. Yeah! One of your, like, work partners just fucking dies in front of you? I think so. Thanks, Apollo. You're... for stating the obvious. But how did Mysterious' body get into the coffin in the first place? Hmm. Trucy, we need you to tell us the secret of this trick. Hmm, you know what they say, a magician never reveals her secrets. But I guess I should make an exception this time. But if you ever tell anybody, I'll make you my guinea pig for every single new magic trick from now on. D don't worry, I'm a lawyer, remember? <laughs> Client confidentiality is part of the job. Oh, we're learning a magic trick today. So let's call this trick Trucy's Great Escape. How did you get it out of the coffin? All right, here goes. I'll reveal the trick just for you two. Prepare yourselves for an exclusive explanation by magical girl Trucy Wright. There's a door in the back. 
Oh, there's a passage. Okay, I was close. I'm spoiling the trick. There's a secret trap door under the stage that leads down to the understage passage. Trap door? So, when did you slip down into the understage passage? Remember when Mr. Hat was on stage holding a sword next to the coffin? Well, by then I had already escaped from the coffin and was waiting under stage. And while I was down there, I did several things to get ready for the next part. Like procure a firearm. What technique? Okay, so what happened next? Mr. Hat was quickly raised up to the catwalk by a wire. There's a cushion up there that acts as a shock absorber when Mr. Hat hits it. Meanwhile, I pop back up into the stage through a different trapdoor. And voila! The switch is complete! Thoughts on how horrendous Sonic Colors Ultimate is? I haven't played it. I thought Sonic Colors was supposed to be, like, one of the better 3D Sonic games. So... I don't know. I've never played the original, either. I think the only, the only like newer Sonic games I've actually played, well, the only thing I played to completion was like <laughs> Sonic Mania, but I mean, that that's not quite the same. Well, in Sonic Adventure. Um, I started playing Generations and I kind of liked that one. No, 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 I know, I know he's talking about the, I know they're talking about the new port, but I haven't played either of them. I don't know how different the port is from the original. Okay, so we have a diagram now. I mean, I've watched gameplay of like the Black Knight and Sonic Unleashed and all that, and I was like, man, these are, what is going on? Oh, it's glitchy? Oh, I don't know, I haven't heard. I'd have to ask Lash. Because I know Lashorus is a big Sonic fan, so I figure he'd probably get it if he could. I had no idea that all of that was happening. He's a fan engine called Gadot. Oh no. I was convinced you were still in the coffin. That's what the professional magicians do. They make their audience see something that really, that isn't really there. In other words, you make us see illusions, right? We call it misdirection. While we keep you busy believing one thing, we're busy making something else happen. What we say is there really isn't, and what we say isn't there actually is, or isn't there actually is, okay. I get it, it's kind of like a magical bluff. Hmm, but there's no escaping the fact that the victim's body was actually in the coffin. It wasn't empty like it was supposed to be. Yeah, that's the part I don't understand. Yeah, magical bluff, exactly. The last thing in the world I expected to see in there was mysterious. Hmm. Would he have climbed in there by mistake? I should get back to asking Trucy about the accident. Uh, can you tell us more about the victim? The great mysterious. Who exactly is this mysterious? You said he used to belong to Troop Grammary, right? Wait, you don't know who the Great Mysterious is, Apollo? Well, neither do I, because guess what? It never showed up in that game. He's super famous. He's all people talk about on TV. Really, I just assumed he was one of Trucy's assistants. Way to diss the dead, Apollo. So, how did the two of you come to perform together, Trucy? Well, like I said, he used to be a member of Troop Grammary. He was a protege of my granddaddy, Magnifi Grammary. So the TV station arranged for us to perform together this time because of that connection. Did he continue performing as a magician after he left Troop Grammary? Uh, no, he got injured while practicing for a show about 13 years ago. That's why he left the troop. After that, he took a break from magic for a while. I'm pretty sure it's a recent thing, him getting famous again. I only started seeing him on TV again maybe last year. I had nothing but respect for Mr. Mysterious as a magician. I can't tell you how sad I am that this happened. 
can't imagine how traumatic it must be to have someone die during your big show. Oh, but hey, don't worry, I'm fine. I have to stay strong for my fans. Oh no, somebody's lying. Huh? My bracelet is reacting. People tend to unconsciously tense up when they're trying to hide something. And when I pick up on their distress, the bra- I know, I get it. It squeezes your arm because you've got like a lie boner. So I guess that means that Trucy's trying to hide something from me. Guess I should give my bracelet a touch. I can see things others can't. The slightest twitch, gesture, or change in expression. Yes, I can see it all when I'm concentrating intensely like this. That's, please don't say that while you're staring directly at her tiny chest, please. And when people are feeling tense, they sometimes reveal a certain habit or a little tick. I'll just ship my viewpoint around until I find Trucy's nervous tick. It's her wobbly eyes. Now to listen carefully to every word and see what she gets shifty eyed over. Then I'll perceive X, whatever she seems nervous about to get to the bottom of things. She's not fine. You're not fine. Gotcha. You're not fine. Come on, Trucy. You should know by now that you can't hide anything from me. Okay, that's a little foreboding. <gasps> Don't tell me that your bracelet reacted. Yep. And here I thought my smile was going to do the trick. Hmm. Looks like I broke the first rule of being a magician. A, a true entertainer always keeps a smile on their face, right? I remember hearing you say that before. Well, yeah, it's just like a true lawyer. It's it, it's everything. That's right. It's a grammary motto that my daddy used to say before he passed away. I'll never forget it. It's one of the few precious memories I have of him. But you can't keep everything inside, Trucy. You'll burst. Why don't you tell me what's bothering you? I can't. If I did, you wouldn't believe in you wouldn't believe in me anymore. That's not true. As an entertainer, you believe in always keeping a smile on your face. And as a lawyer, I have a belief that's important as well. Take that. I get oh, Your attorney's badge? It's dirty. I swore on this badge that I would always believe in my client to the bitter end. That's the cornerstone of being a good lawyer. Mr. Wright taught me as much. So no matter what you tell me, I'm gonna keep on believing in you, Trucy. All I ask is that is for you to have a little faith in me too. Okay. All right, thanks, Polly. Yay, we did it, we broke the girl. The truth. What is the truth? I killed him, I hated him. Uh, she probably didn't hate him. Polly, what if I made a mistake? What do you mean? What if it really was me who stabbed Mr. Mysterious? Ah, uh, what makes you say that? Well, in my escape trick, I used both a real sword and a rubber sword. I switched the real sword for the rubber sword just before I stabbed it into the coffin. So even if somebody had been in there, the rubber sword shouldn't have hurt them. But Mysterious was found dead in the coffin. I know, it, it just doesn't make any sense. I know I swapped the swords. You're absolutely sure. Positive. I practiced that trick hundreds of times with no mistakes. I remember very clearly swapping the swords this time too. But could I have, could I have made a mistake this time? Mm, could she really have? Yeah, well, I better get going. Oh, where to? Well, to practice my act, of course. The show's only a few days away. Yeah, you're really pushing yourself, didn't... Yeah. Everything's gotta be just right or someone could die.
Maybe I really did kill Mysterious. No, you didn't. Stop that. Trucy. The worst possible mistake I could make. Such a horrific accident right in the middle of my show. And yet, all I can think about is... Now that this has happened, Troop Grammary will get its performance rights pulled. There'll never be another show. Everything my family has worked so hard for will be gone forever. And poor Mysterious had his whole life and a great career ahead of him. I, I ruined everything. I destroyed it all. I took it all away. No, it's not true. It's not true. Polly, I... I'm ready to pay for what I did. Uh, what? You, you didn't do anything. Uh, Trucy, I don't think you did anything wrong. You don't? I've had one question going through my mind this whole time. Was this accident really your fault? What do you mean? I don't have any proof or anything. It's just, I don't think you'd ever make a mistake like that. A Apollo? I saw how hard you worked on your tricks, staying up every night to practice. And I know you, you always get everything picture perfect. And nobody's perfect all of the time. Still, I think something else caused Mysterious' death, not any mistake of yours. After all, you're sure you swapped the swords, right? Yes, I remember doing it. And I just know it wasn't your fault, Trucy. But, but how can you say that? We don't have any proof it wasn't me. I mean, I, I know you're a great lawyer, Polly, but... I believe in you, Trucy. And I believe in your skill as a professional magician. So I'm going to prove your innocence. Don't worry, you're going to be fine! Look, you made her cry! Good job! You made- oh! Wow, Apollo, 20 years bad luck making a little girl cry. Thank you, Apollo. Thank you for believing in me. I, I, I'm going to believe in you, too. Good. I, I'm sorry. I need a tissue. Okay. Bailiff, we need a tissue. Well, guard. I've never seen Trucy cry like this before. She always seems so strong. But maybe sometimes she's just putting on a brave face. <laughs> maybe her dad isn't a very good dad. She's still just a kid after all. Yay! So, I have to ask you to make it official, but will you let me defend you? Yes! I'm counting on you. I don't want to have to cancel the show on its opening day. Right. She seems fine now. Trucy, let's win this trial together! Unlike some people. Yeah, come on, Athena. Keep it together. Well, we'd better get right to investigating. Come on, Athena. Wipe that nose and let's go. Excuse you, do you see any snot on my face, Apollo? Ugh, talking about an emotional roller coaster. It's okay, Trucy, we're here for you. We'll need to investigate the stage at Penrose Theater where the body was found. Yeah, hope no one will try to stop us. If you're going to the Penrose Theater, can I ask you a favor? Of course, what is it? I left a very special notebook behind in my dressing room. Sure, we can pick it up for you. That notebook is really, really important to me. I don't know what I'd do if anybody read it. Ugh. Wow, I wonder what's in it. The notebook is in my blue handbag on the table. It's big and black. You can't miss it. Thanks in advance. And with that, I gotta go. It seems they've got more questions for me. All right, see you later, Trucy. So should we investigate the stage first or go get the notebook? 
I'd say we get that notebook. Isn't it this giant black notebook? With everyone's personal items littering the office, this place is as messy as ever. Yeah, take this loud jacket of yours, for example. It's been sitting here forever. Loud? What do you mean, loud? I love that jacket. Oh, yeah? Why don't you ever wear it, then? Well, uh, last time I wore that jacket. Oh, Polly, I'm so happy for you. You finally decided to take the plunge. Now you're ready for your stand-up comedy debut. Oh, no. <laughs> you, Daddy, and Athena should form a group. I can see it now. Primary color punchlines. Oh, no. But let's just say that jacket brings back some painful memories. Hmm? Wait, then... There's the spaghetti. Yeah, I thought she said it was the big black thing. What? Hey, look, it's his hat. I've always thought these shells were a little awkward and hard to use. Yeah, the shape doesn't really lend itself well to the concept of shelves. I mean, there's a hole in the top part and everything. Did you ever notice that every now and then things disappear when you put them inside? It's like the shelves remember that they used to be a magic prop or something. Not the most useful piece of furniture in the world, to say the least. It's yet another magic prop. Oh, a hoop! I'm really good at that. How about you? Nope, I just don't seem to have the knack for it. I figured as much after all, you're not really in tune with your body. You do realize this hoop is used for the levitating woman trick, right? What? It's not for hula dancing. And since you're really good at that, no, what I meant was, I think I'll recommend you to Trucy for the assistant role then. You can take over for me. Oh, God. Yeah, why doesn't anybody want to be Trucy's assistant? Uh, Mr. Wright sure has a lot of law books and old case files. It sure looks that way, doesn't it? Mm, but take a closer look. Most of those books and files have to do with magic. Oh, wow, you're right. They're just hidden behind law book covers. Little by little, Trucy is taking over the whole office with her magic equipment. I hate to admit it, but recently, uh, I sometimes feel like I'm going to forget I'm even a lawyer when I'm here. Oh no! It sounds like Trucy's magic is starting to take over your brain, too. I don't like that. I don't want brain magic. I wonder what kind of tricks you Trucy uses these things for. Like this little guillotine, for example. Well, a human head definitely wouldn't fit. So maybe something small and fuzzy? Ew, that's disgusting! Not to mention cruel! Trucy would never do anything like that. Hmm. You didn't get mad the time Trucy put my head in a guillotine. That's because you performed your role with such gusto. I mean, your screams were so realistic, I couldn't stop laughing. That's because they were 100% real. Yeah. Don't stick my head in a guillotine. Okay. I thought that she said this notebook was here. Am I crazy? It's the plant. Are we, they always say something about the plant. Charlie! I just watered Charlie and he's looking pretty perky. For a guy whose desk is always a big jumbled mess, Mr. Wright never forgets to water Charlie. Sometimes I catch him staring at that plant and smiling. Must hold some special meaning for him. Could be. He did say Charlie's been in this office since his first days as a lawyer. <laughs> uh, Mia. He doesn't seem to want to talk about it much, though. Yeah, come on. One thing's for sure. Charlie is no ordinary plant. That's right. Okay, so... Was coming to the office actually pointless? Did she want me to go somewhere else? Okay, well... Oh, 
Oh, the dressing. Oh, that's yeah. We're looking for the book. Penrose Theater dressing room. I bet that ch I bet that chick stole it. Also, I just realized that there's the Gaviner symbol on that big bouquet, so it's obviously from our bro. Dressing room looks just the way it did before the incident. All these items look kind of lonely without their owners. We have to find Trucy's notebook for her. Let's see, she said it would be in her blue handbag on the table, right? We should see what else we can check out while we're here. Okay, well first things first, let's open up this handbag. Oh, here's that handbag Trucy was talking about. I feel a little funny about digging around in a girl's purse, then give it to Athena! Um, I guess it's okay to open it. After all, she did ask us to. But not you, Apollo. Let me do it. I knew it. Let's see. Huh? No, not this. Uh, what's this? Oh, wow. She has... Oh, Trucy, you are bad. What is it? What is Trucy having her back, Athena? <laughs> what, what is it? I want to see, too. That's funny. She said it was a black notebook, right? But there's nothing like that in here. Maybe Trucy was wrong about where she left it. Well, let's keep looking around for it. Unless somebody already took it like some high-ass bunny girl. What's this? A script of the show? It says Bonnie, so it must belong to that bunny assistant we saw at the show. Magic show script. You and I got to see the first two parts up to the end of the 10.20 a.m. segment. Mysterious is fire trick. This will be dangerous. Make sure the fire bucket is ready. Oh my. Transcends into a dragon. Trucy's hat trick. Bonnie's teleportation trick and Trucy's escape trick. Uh, but this mysterious is fire trick. We didn't get to see that part. Yeah, because they canceled the show after the accident because he was dead. Hey, there's a note about the fire trick. This will be dangerous. Make sure the fire bucket is ready. Come to think of it, when Mysterious turned into a dragon, it breathed fire, didn't it? Coin tricks and fire tricks were Mysterious' specialties. Maybe they had some big finale planned. Where Mysterious and Trucy would face off in a grand magical showdown after his revival. Show script added to the court record. Okay, let's see. The bunnies! Oh, look at the adorable little bunnies! Rabbits, huh? I used to have a pet rabbit. Really? You? <laughs> you sure don't look the type. What do you mean? What's wrong with me having a pet rabbit? I had a pet rabbit a while back. Aren't people who have rabbits as pets usually the quiet, sensitive type? Oh, well, pardon me for being so loud and insensitive. Look at all this stuff. I bet it belongs to that bunny assistant we saw on the show. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. Does she really need all of that? I mean, I don't think I've ever seen so much makeup. When it comes to sheer number of items, your desk back at the office isn't any better. Those things are a natural accumulation of two years of work, and they're all necessary. Really? Instant noodles and crackers? Of course, I need those for when I have to stay at the office all night prepping for a case. And the comic books, too? Oh, uh, uh of course I need those, uh, too. Uh, manga these days are super realistic and informative. I need them for research. Yeah, yeah. Even the 18 plus ones, Apollo? Mm -hmm, I see, so you need to research street fighting in the funnies, do you? Yeah, J Jesus, get off my back. Look at all these costumes. I bet they're all trucies. Oh, could you tell by the scent? Are you like some kind of bloodhound or something? I'm her assistant, not her pet. Damn, like I just, because that is, oh God. Yes, it has her scent. 
Oh, these are from Prosecutor Gavin. Roses, huh? Kinda like him. Pretentious. They might be pretentious, but you know what? He makes it work. Huh. Apollo, I've noticed this for a while now, but... You get awfully prickly when it comes to Prosecutor Gavin. You weren't there for that, were you? You think so? I mean, don't hate him just because he's beautiful. Wow, Athena. That's not it at all. Gosh, just... Oh, they're all different. Okay, what's, who's this from? Hey, these flowers, they're from Lamoror. Lamoror? Where have I heard that name before? She's a famous singer. They call her the Siren of the Ballad and she's pretty popular. Why would a famous singer be sending Trucy flowers? Well, we met her through a case I headed up once. Wow, your circle of acquaintances is bigger than I thought. <laughs> Lamoror, I don't know why, but her songs really touch me for some reason. I hope she's doing well. I don't know, maybe because she's your mom? Anyway. Hmm, aren't these Nine Tails flowers? You know, those flowers that only grow in Nine Tails Vale? Oh my goodness, you're right! Oh, I just noticed like the little tags on them too. Wow, look at all of these callbacks. There's a card here and a letter to go with it. Mm, the card says, good luck, Trucy, from Damien and Jinxie Tenma. They had Tenma and Jinxie, huh? What does the letter say? Let's see. Oh, uh, there's a message for you in here, too. Please tell Mr. Demon Lawyer that I said thank you for everything. Thanks to him, I overcame my fears, and now I'm not afraid of Yokai anymore. And guess what? I've even become friends with Yokai like Iten Momen and Konaki G Gigi. <laughs> no matter what happens, I guess she'll never grow out of her demon obsession. Okay, and there's a bird. There's so many things in this room. It's a dove. Tracy must use it in one of her tricks. Mm, yeah, huh? There's another bird cage next to it. I wonder what's in that one. Cuckoo Kachu! Uh, what? what? What in the world was that? Uh, I don't like to think about that. I say we take a look through Mysterious' things, too. Hey, is that a notebook sticking out from behind his briefcase? You're right, it's practically screaming over here. Look at me! You think it could be... Oh, wow, Athena! Our hunt was right. It's Trucy's notebook. What's it doing mixed in with Myster Mysterious' stuff? Good question. Trucy's notebook added to the court record. Hmm, that's weird. Hmm, it's locked. Guess that means we can't read it. I wonder what kinds of secrets are in there to make her want to lock it. A girl her age needs her privacy. Besides, everybody has a secret or two they don't want others to know about. If there's anything in there about kisses or crushes, I think Mr. Wright would cry. <laughs> wow. Not the kisses! Mr. Wright doesn't like the kisses. Lucy put some posters up, I see. Oh, here's one of the Troop Grammary. Yeah, we already talked about that. Troop Grammary, magical menagerie, huh? Looks like a bunch of folks dressed in outfits a bit too gaudy for their age, if you ask me. But isn't that pretty much how all the best magicians dress? Was Troop Grammary really such a big deal back in the day? I guess so, everyone in the country knew them back then. They had such great tricks. Like making a building disappear or escaping a safe dropped from a helicopter. Wow, I was in Europe at the time, so I had no idea. But if even you know about them, then they must have been really, really famous. I used to see them a lot on TV. I think it was back when I was in junior high. The one in black was the original leader of the troop Grammary, Trucy's grandfather. His name was Magnify Grammary. The one in pink with the mustache, uh, that's Zach Grammary. Trucy's late biological father. Oh, and look, there's Miss, there's Mysterious. So this poster's from back when he was a member of Troop Grammary, huh? 
Yeah, you might notice we didn't mention anything about the lady in there. Damn. Trucy said that he left the troop after he was injured during a show or something, right? 13-year-old poster added to the court record. Well, we've examined just about everything, I think. Looking through other people's stuff was so thrilling! Like I'm doing something naughty, Athena, please. I know what you mean, just don't go poking around in my things at the office. Why? What do you have to hide? Uh, I suddenly... I don't think I like how her eyes lit up all of a sudden. Anyway, we'd better get this notebook to Trucy. Okay. Wait, can I even see her right now? Well, no, I guess we're just gonna go to the stage and check stuff out. April 27, Penrose Theater Stage. Okay, so let's get down to business. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Uh, we're the attorneys for the defendant in this case. Uh, is it all right if we examine the scene? Of course it's not all right. I don't care if you're the defense or the president. No unauthorized investigations. Now, come on, it wouldn't kill you to let us take a little look around. I said no. Now get out of here. Scram. I guess we'll just have to try and get permission from the lead detective. Oh no, who's the lead detective then? Well, let's go outside. Maybe we'll meet them here. Penrose Theater. The person you're trying to call is not available. After the tone, please recon- Beep. Uh, I've tried calling Mr. Wright a hundred times, but he never picks up. We've left him some voicemails, so he'll probably call once he gets them. He's gonna flip out when he hears what happens to Trucy. Hey, this is the place, the theater that magical murder happened. Oh yeah, I wonder if they brought the dead body out yet. I hear they already arrested the murderer. They say it's a young girl. Yeah, high school student. Can you believe it? Kids these days. What's with all the curious bystanders? They sure are kicking up a fuss. How dare they call Trucy a murderer? They've got some nerve. Uh, we can't let people think that about her. We have to defend her. Um, uh, if I did, I haven't seen it yet. Um, nope, maybe it's rolling out. I only have like some follow stuff, Pizza Hut, trying to sell me pizza. Unless it showed up the other day. Oh, no, there we go. Yeah, the tools and resources to combat things. <laughs> Safety center, creator camp, auto modded block terms. We already know that. Chat modes. So they basically just told everybody exactly the same shit that we already know. They literally just regurgitated all of the stuff to, they didn't do anything. They didn't do anything. They were just like, hey, you know these tools that we have and all the tools that we still haven't made to help with that? That's what you can use. We already know about that, Twitch. Why the hell? Of course, people, if... Ah! Oh! Fucking... Holy shit. Why do you think people are coming to you? They've already used all of those tools. They would like a new tool that actually works better and isn't as restrictive as saying, oh, just go into sub only mode or follower only mode. Cool, yeah. Let's put a 10 minute timer after follows because that's totally not going to completely obliterate the thing that Twitch is actually fucking about, which is interaction. Yeah, uh, people are going to love coming into your chat and being like, oh, even if I follow, I can't talk for 10 to 30 minutes. Cool. That's going to make them want to stay. God, Twitch, so bad. 
Live event on the 15th. Okay, so yeah, only like two more weeks until we figure out what's going on. Thanks, Twitch. Hollow, is that you? It's fucking Emma! Hi, Emma. It sure has been a while. How have you been? Oh, uh, can't complain. I haven't seen you in ages. Emma is not usually in the best of moods. Bump it above court record. Oh, Emma's not in the court record yet. I was trying to figure out how old she is. Retins, we don't know how old. We don't know how old any of these people are. Yeah. So I never quite know what to do or say around her. Well, she's not eating uh, snackums right now. Well, uh, we have some business to take care of, so I guess we better get going. Hey, wait a minute. What? Uh, was it something I said? You're darn right it is. It's something you said. What's with you brushing me off like that? We've got heaps to catch up on. After all we've been through, you're not still mad at me about something, are you? Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to upset you. Yeah, exactly. It's, uh, it's so dumb. Who's this, Apollo? A distant cousin or something? No, Emma's a detective I've had the uh, pleasure of working with before. Hello, I'm Emma Skye, forensic investigator. What, so you're finally a full-fledged forensi forensic investigator? Yeah, I finally achieved my lifelong dream. Look, I even have an official forensic investigator armband and everything. That's great, Emma. I bet the exam was really hard, huh? Oh, it was a cinch. Really? Because I thought you said something about failing it over and over. Well, never mind that. The important thing is, I'm not a plain old detective anymore. Yeah, exactly. So no more boring old investigations for me. I'm so happy I could hug the whole world. Coming from you, that's uh, really something. Criminals beware. Fingerprinting, luminal testing, DNA analysis. Emma Sky is raring to go, so bring it on. Wow, I guess it's goodbye, grumpy clouds, and hello, fanatical sun. She's very cheerful, isn't she? Is it because of the weather or something? She sure wasn't like this before. She was pretty frustrated back when she was assigned to the criminal affairs department. She was always munching on chocolate snackoos to relieve her stress. Sorry, not snackums, snackoos. Snackoos and stress are a thing of the past. I've said goodbye to both of them. And may you never have to see either again. By the way, are you two here because of the murder? Murder? Don't you mean the accident? Oh, uh, then I guess you haven't heard. The case is being treated as a straight up homicide now. What? Oh, what? Just so you know, I heard that the prosecution is going to argue tomorrow that Trucy outright murdered Miss Mysterious. What? What? Are you kidding? They're treating it as a murder? Emma, please tell us everything you know. Of course, anything to help Trucy. That's not why I need to talk. Why is the case being treated as a homicide now and not involuntary manslaughter? Well, apparently, there's something that proves it was a straight-up homicide. Well, that's vague. Do you know any of the details? N no I'm afraid that's all I was told. Really? How come? Well, because the lead prosecutor is kind of a hard guy to read. Though maybe it's just a culture gap thing? Anyway, he's not one to really share his thoughts. Wait, what do you mean by culture gap? I mean that he's a foreigner, so his way of going about things is, uh, different. So who exactly am I up against tomorrow? Well, let's talk about Emma. Uh, congrats on finally becoming the forensic investigator you always wanted to be. Thanks! I failed that exam so many times, but I finally did it! I can finally use my forensic kit openly, whenever I want. Oh yeah, you used to have to stealth use a kit you send away for. Oh, I still use that one, too. But now, it's more of a hobby kit. It's important to have hobbies, you know. So basically, nothing's changed. Are you kidding? Huh. I don't have to worry about getting in trouble for taking fingerprints for fun now. 
It's positively life-changing. I can take all the prints I want. Uh, are you sure you're allowed to do that? Sure, I'm sure. I've been collecting all the prints I've taken into a personal database. I... Um... Now hold out your hands. I need to get your prints, too. Just promise me you won't use them for evil. Can't believe she took my prints, too, Apollo. Okay, the prosecution. Chief Prosecutor Edgeworth has been reorganizing the prosecutor's office lately. Look at him with his glasses! As a part of that effort, he's gotten rid of a lot of corrupt prosecutors, including pain. So the prosecutor's office is looking pretty empty these days. That's how a foreign prosecutor got assigned to this case. Mm, that's part of it, yes. We were short on prosecutors and this guy just happened to be visiting. As a Penrose trial, yeah, you know them. They always like to put those things together. This game has a lot of hidden things. And what's the purpose of his visit? Well, some insurgents from the kingdom of uh, Korean are thought to be hiding out here. As an international prosecutor, he apparently came to investigate the matter personally. Oh no, what if Mysterious is one of the insurgents? He did have scars. So he's from the kingdom of Korean? That's right, he's also a Koreanist monk. Monk? Uh, so how did he get assigned to this particular case anyway? It seems he's a very, he's very devoted to furthering his studies as a prosecutor. He wanted to learn how the crime scenes are investigated here, so he just showed up. And so he's just curious, huh? He looked the entire crime scene over quite earnestly. And just as everyone else was ready to call it a case of involuntary manslaughter, this is most certainly a murder, a, the cruel act of an impure soul. Wow, I already feel like I'm gonna fucking hate this guy. Like, uh, it's just, I have this feeling. That's what he said. Just like that. That doesn't sound weird. Then he volunteered himself as prosecutor for the case. Uh, with the shortage of prosecutors right now, uh, the prosecutor's office was glad to have him. So Trucy arrest was arrested for murder all because of this guy, huh? I have to say, he's definitely not your typical prosecutor. He says court is where a victim receives their la last rights. Uh, where the truth is revealed and the criminal is judged and the victim's soul sees salvation. Stingy with the applications? Of course he is. The receiving last rites in court allows the victim to finally rest in peace, or so he claims. And so to him, a trial is like performing a funeral rites for the victim, huh? That's certainly a unique way of looking at it. His name is... Uh, Nayuta Sadmad... Sadmadhi... Sadmadhi? What? Okay, is that a pun? Am I just... Nayuta... Sadmadhi. I don't think that's... I don't know if that's a pun or if it's just a lot of words. What? Uh, Nayuta uh, Sadmahi. Okay. Sorry, I just, I have to look for a pun in everything now, because it's fucking game. That's right. What, do you know him or something? Oh, uh, I guess you could say I've heard of him. Yeah, well, he is pretty famous. Really? Yes, they say he travels the world solving difficult case after difficult case. Where there is a hard case to crack, he's called in to prosecute it. Wow, sounds like he's going to be tough to beat. I, I can't believe this. I have to stand in court against him? Wait, how do you know him? He seems like a very kind and gentle person, though. He's very polite and understanding to everyone he talks to. Huh, so he's a pretty agreeable guy, then. Yeah, he's bound to see what kind of person Trucy really is. Yes, a sinner. Uh, but don't they hate defense attorneys in Korean? 
Would he even listen to what we have to say? I don't see why not. He certainly seems like the type of person who would. Even so, do you think you could do us a favor, Emma? Would you tell Prosecutor uh, Sad Madhi about Trucy? About what a good person she is? Of course. Leave it to me. I'll make him understand there's no way Trucy could have committed murder. I hope he listens to reason. <laughs> me too. This is looking pretty bad, Apollo. They're calling it a murder and they've even got proof. What are we gonna do? Uh, look on the bright side, that's what. Bright side? What bright side? Well, the good thing about there being proof is that there has to be a point to the real killer. It has to point to the real killer, sorry. If we can find out who that is, we can prove Trucy's innocence. Oh, hey, you're right. Which means our objectives are clear. We have to find two things. Proof of Trucy's innocence and evidence of the true culprit's identity. You know what, Apollo? You've, you're starting to give me a glimmer of hope. That means there's only one thing to do. Emma, would it be all right if we investigate the scene? If I said no, you'd just do it behind my back anyway, right? <laughs> would I do something like that? Guess the jig is up. Oh, all right, but I'd better come along. Who knows what sort of mischief you get up to if I'm not there to keep an eye on you. Mischief? Sounds like Emma trusts you about as far as she can throw you, Apollo. He has been known to move things around at the crime of uh, the scene of a crime, you know. And what about you? You used to do all kinds of things of or all kinds of forensics tests on things without permission. Uh, that <sighs> there's nothing wrong with that. After all, uh, uh, forensics is always on the side of justice. Hmm. How is that even remotely fair? Touchdown! Must be a touchdown. <laughs> How is that not doing what I wanted to do? Sorry about that. Um, wait, can I talk to her anymore? Okay, we're gonna go check out the crime scene. I think we're gonna go to, let's go to the stage. Let's do that. Once I finish up this part, I'm probably gonna call it though so I can actually go eat dinner. April 27th, Penrose Theater, stage. All right, let's get down to investigating, shall we? Just make sure you don't move anything or I'll get in big trouble. Fine, I promise. To only move the things I have to. Well, I have my own investigation to conduct, but let me know if you need anything. It's been a while since we've done any investigating. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's dive right in. You do remember how to do this, right? If you don't, I can give you a quick rundown. Should I? No, I'm okay. I already know how to investigate. I just did it. Don't worry about me. I've got it all locked away in the vault up here. Good, and I'm sure it'll all come back to me too as we go along. Wait, wasn't it you who just offered to give me a rundown? Oh, I've seen something like this before. It's like that game where you stick swords into a barrel until a little man pops out. Huh, that doesn't sound like any games I've ever heard of. Really, it's pretty famous in Europe. Did you have anything to play with as a kid? Is this true, Zunder? Is there, is, is that a famous toy? You do have that game? Oh my gosh. Oh, you know us simple Americans, we're happy with just a hoop and a stick, that's not Fucking true, Apollo. Popping pirate or something? That does sound familiar for some reason. We have one of these in the office too, don't we? Yeah, that poor magic prop we use as a shelving unit. I'd kinda like to see Trucy perform this trick sometime. Well, we both know you'd be the one in the box if she ever did. I feel 
bad for the prop, but it can stay a shelving unit in that case. This is what they call a set piece. It's a piece of the onstage scenery. Suddenly fell down after the body was revealed, if I remember correctly. Just as the brave heroine screams, the spell on the dragon breaks. Losing its wings, the dragon falls to the ground. That moment marked the collapse of Trucy's magical kingdom. Magic, huh? Yeah, sure. Timing was so perfect, I'd be genuinely surprised if it was magic. Oh, hey, this is a curtain. I wonder what's behind it. The backstage area. There's magic equipment and stuff like that back there. I'll open it a crack and check it out later. You weren't thinking of opening that curtain, were you? Uh, <laughs> me? Ha <laughs> Would I ever do a thing like that? Rats. I guess I'll have to ask her to open it for me later. I have seen that! The classic barrel of laughs for all of the family! Where's the, where's the digital pop-up pirate games under? Where's the VR version of that so we can play? <laughs> okay. I thought I saw something change somewhere. Tabletop sim pop-up pirate win. Yeah, let's talk to them. Hello, has anybody made that? The video camera is pointed right at the stage. I wonder what it recorded. I want to take a peek, but Emma would... Wow, this residue data is so fascinating. <laughs> She's so fixated on that bloodstain data, her eyes are getting bloodshot. Quick, Apollo! While Emma's off in Forensics Fantasyland, let's see what's recorded on the camera. Jack in! Is it the same? Wait, I think this is the same. Unless they cropped, they might have cropped the other shots. Well, we're gonna watch and see. No, it, they're still zooming really horribly and I hate it. Okay, we're looking at the bunny girl, yes. Zoom. No, seriously, this camera work is not great. Like, okay, yeah, ba -ba -bum, there's that. Okay, is it still gonna zoom in on the box? That sword doesn't look rubbery, though. Oh no, you're zooming in on her, okay. Like, shouldn't there be multiple cameras? Cause look, it's so bad! Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, now it's zoomed out. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty sure that, yeah, the footage! No, don't, don't zoom. Okay, okay, what, come on. I know the swords, can you back out? Um. Okay, yeah, it's still terrible. I thought maybe they had like messed with, oh wait, no, 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 it's still, well, I think that's a different angle slightly, better, maybe. Can you zoom out, please? Yelling at this game, zoom. Okay, cause at this point, yeah, it was just like, like, who hired this camera guy? This camera guy sucks. So this is the same footage, I believe. Unless we get like a side-by-side -side comparison. And then the dragon came down. Okay. The same video is on TV where you can't see the body at all. Apollo, did you notice a strange shadow in that footage? No, why? I don't think it was my imagination, but I'm pretty sure I saw something. Strange shadow, huh? I wonder what it was. Well. Oh, I don't want to. Let's change that angle. Well, oh, hello. That's where the man died. So this is the coffin the dead body appeared from. I actually haven't examined that yet. Would you two mind giving me a hand? No sweat. Trucy said the coffin was supposed to be empty when she stabbed it. So how did the victim even get in there? I bet there's a secret door or something. 
Chair is an oddly shaped thing, isn't it? I knew it could unfold into something like this. Oh, I heard that since it's used for magic tricks, the left and right panels are made to be interchangeable. How that helps with the magic tricks, though, I have no idea. Sure, they make use of it in some way we can't even imagine. Hello, oh, look! There's a secret door in the back panel of the coffin, yeah. You think Miss Mysterious could have entered the coffin through here? He could have done it without Trucy noticing, then maybe. It's like two magicians trying to outmagic one another right under each other's noses. A white outline, huh? So this is where the body was. What exactly did it look like just after the incident occurred, I wonder? Oh, I have a photo of the crime scene. Here you go. Thanks. Yeah, he was stabbed in the back, though. You can't get stabbed in the fucking back if you got stabbed in the side. Like, how? Why are? Why is everybody so dumb? Like, if you're standing straight in a coffin and you get stabbed from the side, how? Oh, it looks like he was stabbed in the back. Yes, that's definitely what killed him. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's his ass crack. What's this thing around his waist? I mean, if you rotate, I mean, true, but I feel like there's not really a lot of like room to rotate. Yeah, it, it's a, it's his prolapse. Don't look at it, please. This guy is old as fuck, though. I don't think he's that flexible. Uh, it's a stunt harness. A stunt wire can be attached to it so the person can float and fly through the air. Especially when dead. Well, rigor mortis, though. Come to think of it, he did fly in Act 1, didn't he? Well, and maybe that's how they dropped the body and shoved it in that box. Coffin. I mean, true. Okay, can I also get, um... Oh. Wait a minute, it looks like the bottom of the coffin opens too. Ooh, a secret door, let's try opening it. How did that not mess with the chocolate? I mean, maybe they just use a rope. Well, look at that. It seems to lead someplace under the stage. That's right, it goes to the understage passage. It's pitch black down here. Hold on, I think I see something glowing faintly. It's hard to make anything out from up here. If you try to go down there, the magicians will get mad at you. Apparently, there are things down there that will give away the secrets behind their tricks. Uh, Emma is a long-standing member of the series. She actually is the one who let us do, um, like, luminol testing, which tests for, like, blood and stuff like that. Way back in the original trilogy, when she was but a wee lass. And now she's, she's a lady. Oh, that's what I was gonna check. Her profile should be in here. Is she still a fair bit younger than, um, than Wright? Yeah, she, oh, she's 27. Okay, yeah, she's like, she is, uh, eight years younger than, than Phoenix. So she was, yeah, she was still, like, a teenager when they met the first time, or younger. But yeah, she, she, she helped you out with forensic stuff, even though she wasn't technically a forensic investigator because she had to go through like the testing and stuff but no she's cool she used to eat a whole lot of these things called snagus and be very angry because of her troubles but she's a good egg she helps with the investigations well that sucks it's all right there and we can't even check it out definitely gonna have to examine that understage passage at some point though Yeah, there's a lot of cuties in the in the Phoenix Wright land. There's also a lot of terrifying people. And people that I hate. Oh, okay, we're gonna back it up. Let's check out the sword. But yeah, right now she's running like, Tow blood! There's a sword here, covered in blood. <laughs> Must be the murder weapon. Trucy said she was sure she switched out switched out with the rubber sword. Fortunately, this one certainly doesn't look like it's made of rubber. Hey, Emma, were there any fingerprints on the sword? 
Hmm, let's see. According to my data, no prints were found. But that could be because the culprit wiped them off. Come to think of it, Trucy was wearing gloves during the show. So she certainly wouldn't have left any prints either. Oh, is that it? Did we do it? Something isn't right. Just doesn't make sense. What's the matter, Apollo? You're making that weird face again. How did what should have been a rubber sword get switched with a metal one? Plus, the timing of that dragon set piece falling down. Wasn't that just a little too convenient? I bet that's when they swapped the bloody sword into there. Something just isn't sitting right. I think it's that Taco Bell I ate earlier. Ground control to Major Apollo! Can you hear me, Major Apollo? Athena! I think I've got it! I think somebody switched Trucy's rubber sword for the metal one! Hmm? To pin the murder on her! Someone switched the swords, but when could they have done that? When everyone was too busy to notice. Somebody could have switched Trucy's rubber sword with a metal one. Not after the set piece fell. The trick? They could have switched the swords right before Trucy's trick. What? But wouldn't that mean... Trucy herself stabbed the victim with the metal sword? Exactly. And that's why it couldn't have been right before Trucy's trick. I, I just realized... Oops. Very good, Athena. You managed to avoid my little trap. <laughs> Apollo, do you really think you can pull the wool over my eye so easily? <laughs> eh, there's no fooling you, is there? The swords have been switched at some other point in time? After. After the set piece fell, everybody in the audience was kicked out of the theater. In the ensuing chaos, somebody could have carried out a cover-up operation. Any one of the stagehands or show personnel could have done it before the police arrived. So what you're saying is... Somebody's actively trying to frame Trucy for the crime. Yes, some disgusting individual is trying to get away with murder. So it's someone related to the show. And there's definitely a very high chance of that. Now, if we could just figure out who it is... Let's see, what else do we need to do on the stage? Emma, did you find any fingerprints on the coffin? Actually, I haven't checked yet. I was gonna do that at the end. I like to save the best for last. Uh, we aren't exactly talking about dessert here. Oh, but we are. Would you like to partake in my delicious dessert? I don't mind sharing. Emma, you don't just say that to a young man. Unless you're willing to be with him the rest of your life. Otherwise, it's a sin. No sharing dessert before marriage. Everybody knows that. Oh, yes, please. There's always room for dessert, right? Nonsense. Oh, well, I just... No, don't. All right. I guess I'll join you two. Sorry, ladies only dessert time. So could you show us how you check for prints, Emma? Sure, let's start with the basics. As you know, fingerprints are an excellent way of identifying someone. That's because no two people have the same set of fingerprints, not even twins. Yeah, no, no boys allowed. So if we find any prints on the coffin, they might lead us to the killer. If the culprit was dumb enough to leave prints behind, sure. Let's go ahead and dust for prints now. Do I get to do it, or am I just watching you do it? I get to do it! Let's see. This looks like a promising spot. Try dusting that area with fingerprints powder. Keep tapping the touchscreen until the powder covers the surface thoroughly. When you're done, blow into the mic to get rid of the excess powder. The powder in this bottle is all we have to work with. If you run out, try blowing into the mic. Any excess powder will be returned to the bottle. All right, I think I'm ready to give it a try. Hmm. 
I'm just going nuts. Okay, I forget. Did I have this? I do have it set to blow. I did it. It's my voice activated blowing. You found some prints. Looks like the fingers of someone's left hand. I do like that Citra actually can use your real microphone. Now let's try comparing these with the ones we have on file. First, touch Analyze to select a print. Next, select the print you want to analyze and touch Confirm. Yeah, voice activated blowing. I've got a pretty clear print here. I wonder whose it is. I have the prints of everyone involved in the case right here. Oh god. Okay. Just choose the person whose prints you'd like to compare the sample against. Yeah, I talk too much to the blowing the badger! The badger. Well, the last person who was in the coffin was. Wait, the, whoa, those are his prints. Those are definitely his prints. Okay. He killed himself and then put himself in the coffin. Case closed. Trucy is innocent. Bingo, looks like the prints belong to the deceased. Mysterious. Well, if we found prints here, maybe we can find them elsewhere on the coffin too. Like over here. Guess I'll try dusting for more prints. <laughs> they only have so much powder. Oops, I talked. All right. Um, how much do I need to blow? Hello? Why isn't it blowing it off the side? Uh, okay. This is an awful lot of blowing. I blew! Shit. How many? Oh, wait. Maybe I've blown enough. Let me try analyzing that thumbprint. Actually, what's that? Is that a. What is. Is that just there? Gotta, it's it's being kind of janky. I oh hello. Whoops! There, I found some. And these prints are apparently uh, mysterious as too. Hmm, shall we try looking for prints on the outside of the coffin now? Yes, let's. This time you'll be able to rotate the coffin and look at it from different angles. That'll give you a chance to examine it thoroughly. If you ever get stuck or confused, you can always touch reset. Okay, and if I find any prints, I'll choose one to run against your data, just like before. I thought I could like turn it around. What's this? Sweet little delicacy here. I found another print. Judging from its position and location, it might have been made when someone put this lid on the coffin. Let's see. Uh, there was one part during the show where someone put this lid on after Trucy had gotten into the coffin. Therefore, this print should belong to... Bum -ba -da -bum, Bonnie DeFam. It is Bonnie! Match found! Looks like the print belongs to that bunny girl. Come to think of it, she did put the lid on the coffin during the show. And that's probably when she left her prints on the lid. Now then, I wonder if I can find any more prints. What about the bottom? Uh, 
Nope. Nope. Are you guys enjoying this, uh, me blowing? I can't talk too loud, or it it makes me blow. What about the top? Nope. It really is. I'm not sure if I like this. What else is there? Like, there's so much surface area. I mean, we already know this is her hand. So I'm not worried about that. Is there something down there or is that? Oh no, that was just residual. What the, f there's so much. God, I can only blow so much. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna check this other thing. Confirm, make sure that it's her. Yeah, which means it must belong to that bunny assistant too. Okay, cool. What the fuck? Okay, if anybody knows the answer to where the hell I'm supposed to be touching this thing, you can totally let me know, because at this point I'm just like... What? Lower? I feel like I've touched every part of this goddamn coffin. This reminds me of a puzzle. You know? Ugh. Okay, seriously, I'm... What the fuck? <laughs> Where am I supposed to blow? <laughs> Seriously, what? But what else do you want from me, game? What do you want from me? I checked up here. How many jars of powder? I don't know, but Jesus, it's terrible. Zunder, seriously. Where is it? Just tell me. I feel like I've blown every square inch of this. Was I supposed to... Are we exposing more than one pair of hands? What the fucking son of a bitch? I know you said that. Just tell me where the fuck it is. Where on the coffin am I supposed to do this? Because I feel... I swear to God. I have dusted, like, every square inch of this fucking coffin. I 
Now I'm just getting hangry, because I'm like, man, I was gonna eat as soon as I finished this, and now I'm doing some fucking bullshit. With a coffin. That doesn't have other fingerprints on it. But it won't let me leave. It just won't. I'm just gonna keep dusting wherever until something happens. Are they gonna like, get the very top? N yeah. Like, I, I already got both of those. Unless it's gonna let me, like, move more. Oh, rotate evidence. No, no. I know, Jesus, you won't let me, like, back out of that. Rotate evidence. It's telling me to use the pad. Maybe the pad's just not working for whatever reason. That might be it. Alright, look a second. Um figure. Trolls. Circle pad. Directional pad. Ah, oh, there we freaking go. Is that to say? There should have been rotaties. Oh, well that's super obvious. Doesn't, what do you mean that doesn't look like there are any prints there, you dumb fuck? Yeah, there is a print there. There, I got a print. All right, I'll just check it against my data. Huh? That's funny. It doesn't match the print of anyone involved in this case. Really? None of them? How can that be? Okay, I was about to say, like, I was gonna get mad if I couldn't move that around. Mm, looks like that's about all the prints we're going to find. To sum everything up, the prints we found belong to... The victim, Mysterious, the bunny assistant, Bonnie, and some third unidentified party. But that's strange. We didn't see anybody else up there on the stage during the show. Does this mean some outsider was up there? Somebody unrelated to the show? Hmm. I guess he really can't say at this point. Well, thank goodness we didn't find any of Trucy's fingerprints, right? That's only because Trucy was wearing gloves. Hey... Emma, there's something else that's been bothering me about the prince. Don't you think something, there's something odd about Mysterious' prints? Odd, what about? What's odd about them? Well, if Mysterious was standing in the coffin facing forward, he would have left prints like this, right? But when we look at the actual prints, um, they're facing backwards. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Hey, what do you know? You're right. I wonder how they wind up like that. Maybe he was accidentally facing the wrong way at first, but then turned around later? No, the coffin is much too small for a guy his size to turn around and ha-ha! Ha-ha! My other point of these stabbing in the back. That all he would have been able to manage is maybe a little bit of twisting. Then it really doesn't make any sense, does it? I think I might have hit so on something major here. Oh, I have just one more question, Emma. Uh, yeah, what is it? Mr. Mysterious was stabbed in the back, right? But if he was standing in the coffin like this, how would that have worked? Oh, right, that. Um... 
The lead prosecutor has an explanation, actually. He thought that the victim might have tried to dodge the sword as it came into the coffin. So maybe he twisted his body and the sword ended up stabbing him in the back. That's his theory, anyway. I see. I guess that sounds plausible. Fingerprinting results. In addition to prints from the victim and Bonnie, a set of unknown fingerprints were found on the top. Well, I guess that about wraps up our investigation of the stage. Actually, there's still an area behind the curtain. Don't you want to know what's back there? Sure do, but Emma told us not to move or touch anything, remember? Would you quit staring at me? <laughs> Fine, I'll go open it for you. Thanks, Emma. Wow, look at you flaunting your lady killer eyes. <laughs> I have my ways. I'm only doing this so I won't get charged with animal abuse for not throwing you a bone. Wow, she's calling me a dog. I guess puppy eyes can be just as effective. <sighs> All right, I'll be back. Bum, ba da bum, bum, bum. Oh, hey, look, a guillotine. A ladder leading up. Wood. Well, go and investigate to your heart's content, but before you go moving anything, I know, I know, we'll be sure to ask first. Oh, and by the way, just examine the backstage to move the, to the area behind the curtain. Okay, time to get investigating. Okay, I'm gonna examine her backstage, if you know what I mean. Seeing the stage this way kind of breaks the illusion, doesn't it? This goes to show that some things are better left unseen. Oh, listen to you, sounding all grown up and stuff. Oh, don't worry, I'm sure you'll have some cynical one-liners of yours, your own someday, too. Oh boy, I can't wait! Anyway, on to more pressing matters. Let's go examine the backstage area. Okay, that's... A broom sticking in a dustpan. Dustpan, a broom, and a bucket. Guess they use these to keep the stage tidy. Now that's what the bucket is for, though. See how it says fire on it? Oh, I guess it's a fire bucket then. Yes, I heard the theater owner went out and bought that just for the show. When he heard there was going to be a fire trick, he flew to the store to get it. Can a little bucket like this really put out a raging fire? I'm guessing the owner thought it could. Doesn't look like it's been used. In fact, the inside is caked with dust. What's the point of even buying the bucket then? Um. Wait a minute, that means nobody actually prepared for the fire trick after all. Hmm, I have a feeling this might be an important bit of information. A bucket to be used in case of fire. Not only was it empty, but dust lines the inside of the pail. The winch for Mr. Hat. What is this thing? It's a winch. I'm guessing they used it to pull Mr. Hat up. Oh, look, there are two winches. One back there and one up there. Apparently, each winch was rigged up to something different. One of them was used to hold up the dragon set piece, while the other was connected to that weird puppet up in the catwalk. Weird puppet, huh? You better go check out the catwalk later. Another coffin? Spare coffin? Hey, there's a coffin back here, too! Looks like there's a stuffed dragon inside. No, wait, look, it's just an illusion. See, that dragon looks like it's inside. But it's really just painted on the front lid. Oh, wow, you're right! That's really something else. If the show hadn't been canceled, we might have gotten to see this trick, too, huh? Hey, remember that? It's a guillotine, but it's not real. It's just another one of Trucy's props. I wonder if it was supposed to appear in the show. Hmm? You mean she didn't mention it to you? She said you were going to make a guest appearance on stage for a guillotine trick. No, I definitely remember not agreeing to something like losing my head on national TV. It looks like this ladder leads to the catwalk overhead. 
Do I really have to go up there? Why don't you go up and uh, check it out, Athena? I'm sure you'll like the air up there. Huh? Where in the world did you get that idea? Wait a minute. Are you saying I'm an airhead? How rude can you get? Uh huh, that's not what I'm saying at all. Now up you go, I'll just wait down here. Okay, now I'm starting to get the picture. You're afraid of heights, aren't you, Apollo? D Come on, <laughs> this is for Trucy. She needs us, so up the catwalk we go. Well, I guess it's time to put on my big boy pants and immediately shit in them. There depends. That's what big boy pants are. There's a rabbit and the moon and stars. Are you all right, Apollo? You're white as a sheet. <laughs> I'm f f f fine. Don't look down, Justice. Don't look down. Mm, those green things over there look like cushions. I guess one of them was used to absorb the force of impact when Mr. Hat zipped into it. Let's go check it out. Way over there. Mr. Hat, are you okay? Mr. Hat! Hmm? What's that? Mr. Hat. Whoa! Look, Apollo, it's Mr. Hat. Why is he on like a freaking hook hook though? Like a meat hook. He's attached to a wire. Actually, didn't Tracy say something like, he quickly raised Mr. Hat up by wire? Into a cushion on the catwalk. Why is he on top of the catwalk? Maybe the stagehands pulled Mr. Hat up and let him here after, left him here afterwards? That wire attached to his back, it looks like it's connected to one of the winches down below. Hmm. Mr. Hat's cape is ripped. Did that happen during the show? That's odd, it almost looks like it was slashed with a blade. How in the world did that happen? Apollo, I see that you're trying to take this all in stride, and I respect that. But seriously, you're trembling like a newborn fawn up here. Get it together, man. I, I can't help it. Wow, rude. These set pieces look like a rabbit and a moon. Uh, although they kind of look like they could be a duck or a croissant, too. What? I mean, I guess. What do they look like to you, Apollo? the Grim Reaper, and a guy falling to his death. Come on, let's wrap up this investigation before you, your imagination catches up to you. Okay, there's the winch thing. Next. Mm, looks like Mr. Head is rigged to this smaller pulley. Let's see, how did it go? After being blown a kiss, Mr. Hat goes wild and just as he's about to stab the coffin, he gets pulled up into the catwalk, and the smoke screen was to hide his ascent from the audience's view. Wow, that's a big pulley. It looks like it's connected to one of the winches down below. The dragon set piece must have been hanging from this. Indeed. The cushions we're looking at, I guess. Hey, look, there are cushions attached to the underside. Well, what are you standing over there for? Come on now and look. You're not gonna try and push me off, are you? Seriously, Apollo, come on, you'll be fine. Here, do you want me to hold your hand? Yes, actually, if you wouldn't mind. Oh, poor Apollo. Looks like you're right. And Trucy mentioned something about this, didn't she? That a cushion was supposed to absorb the force of impact when Mr. Hat was pulled up? Well, I think that about does it for the catwalk. Do you think we missed anything? Nope, uh-uh, didn't miss a single thing. We're all done here, yes siree. I take it you're ready to go down? Yeah, I think we'd better. I feel a fainting spell coming on. Oh, brother. You don't need me to hold your hand again, do you? Wow, rude, Athena. Please, do. Oh, man. 
Okay, well... Oh, understage? How many stage? Oh yeah, are we gonna go understage? There's a sign here that says understage. I bet these stairs go to the understage area. Oh, shocking revelation, Apollo. Trissy told me she and her fellow magicians call it the abyss. I wonder why. Who knows? Maybe because it's really dark down there or something. Oh, I bet they've got all kinds of magical goodies stashed away down there. Come on, let's go check it out. Emma's gonna be like, nope. The door's locked. Oh, there's a door leading down? The entrance to the abyss is barred to mere mortals like us, huh? Oh well, that's what you call a swing and a, a, a swing and abyss. Uh, oh, well that's everything. All done? Uh, pretty much, there's just one thing. The door to the understage passage was locked. Any way we can get down there? That place, they locked it up as soon as we... Police finished our investigation down there. If you want to check it out, you'll have to ask a magician. Well, Trucy's at the detention center, so she can't help us. And I guess we'll have to look for somebody else from the show. Okay, and I'd better get back to my own investigation. See you around. It's too bad about the understage area, but at least we learned a few things. Yeah, like one of your greatest fears. <laughs> I wasn't talking about that. I meant how all the behind the scenes stuff is set up. Let's see, we found out there are two winches backstage. Mr. Hat was rigged to the first winch. And the dragon set piece was attached to the other one. And both of them were used during the show. Right after the body was discovered, the dragon set piece fell to the stage. And in the chaos that ensued, the culprit could have switched the rubber sword with the real one. So it looks like the best way to prove Trucy's innocence is to identify the real killer. Oh, what a complete and utter mess. This is all great, just great. That right kid is a bush league, small potatoes, half-grown has-been. Hmm? Somebody on the stage. Well, fuck that guy and his, like, Starbucks. Wonder who it is and what they're doing. Maybe we should go talk to them. Okay, um... Hi, you dumb bitch. Excuse me, are you connected to the show? It, it is- what kind of coffee is that? That's got ladies' legs on it. That's sexy Starbucks. Stupid sexy Starbucks. What, you two got a couple more headaches for me to handle? I got my hands full as is. I remember this guy. Yeah, I remember. He, hey, you. I just realized something. I thought this guy had a handkerchief in his pocket, but I, th I think he just has like bills in his pocket, like money bills. Yeah, I know, shut up, I don't care. It's that man who was going off at the staff in front of the theater. I ain't never seen you guys before. If I had to guess, I'd say you're not my production staff. No, I literally saw you. Hmm? Is that I spy with my little eye? An attorney's badge. Well, how do you do? I didn't know you found folks were lawyers. Wow, what a fucking 180. My business card, if you would. Charm to make your acquaintance, I'm sure. Uh, thank you. So you're from the TV station, I take it. Sharp as attack you are, I'm the producer of this TV special. All of m all my idea, by the way. <sighs> I'm Apollo Justice, and Trucy Wright's defense attorney. Trucy Wright? Wow. Well, ain't that a kick in the head. How about you open with that tidbit next time, champ? Uh, okay. What happened to the other schmoozy magoo bit? I'm Roger Ret... Ret... I'm Roger Rettens. Hold the applause. No autographs, kids. I'm on the clock. Apollo, this guy looks really familiar, but I can't quite... We literally just ran into him. Really, kid? Then try this one on for size. Hang loose, baby. Hang loose, baby. 
Apollo, it's the ratings Raha from Take Two TV. I don't fucking know what that means. He's huge, crazy huge, like a real famous producer. Really, I've never heard of him. Seriously, man, what kind of cave did you crawl out of? <laughs> Roger Rettens, the ratings Raha, titan of the TV screen. Still not ringing a bell. That's what I'm gonna do every time somebody like comes into my chat that's new and they're like, hi, nice to meet you. And I'm like, hi, nice to meet me. What cave did you crawl out of? You don't know me, I'm super famous. You ain't seen my hit Saturday night talk show at 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central? Uh, no. Can't say that I have. I need to do the hand thing. Yeah, you did. My watch, well, I can't make my watch much more loose. I can put it on the, I guess that's kind of loose. This is like, this is the last little bit that I can put it on. Uh, I, am I doing it? Am I famous yet? My number two on take two TV? You're blowing my mind, kid. You even know what a TV is? Say it with me. Television. Um, do you mind if I ask you a few questions about the incident? No, 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 what kind of comeback is that? Grow some backbone, kid. I basically lobbed that one at you and that hit me with your best barb. Viewers will love that. Come on, you gotta sell it. Sell what? Say something funny for the nice people at home. Go on, hit me with your best shot. God, this guy is just an amateur, like, fucking porn director. He's got it written all over his smarmy face. My, my best shot? We're rolling here, hurry up before they change the channel. Chop, chop. Uh, okay, here goes. Talk to the hand, kapow. What is this, grade school? Kapow, really? Why are you pointing all your all dramatically like we're in court? I don't know, it just seemed like the thing to do. <laughs> ah. Ah, ah, ah. Athena, stop judging me. Apollo. Ugh, that's going in the cringe reel for sure. I think we can all agree that was a mistake. Ah, if I choked any harder, I'd need the Heimlich maneuver. I blame myself, really should have known better than waste a good film on a nobody. So you want an exclusive or what? Oh, I hate this man. I don't really want to talk with him because I hate him. Okay, let's ask about you. Should he re- yeah, probably, god. Today's magic show was being broadcast live on TV, wasn't it? And you were the producer, right? That's right, rising magic star versus old school grammary. This is gonna be wild. We were gonna have viewers vote for their favorite magicians during the show, and the loser would have had a really embarrassing prank done to them. It was gold, I tell you, guaranteed ratings. I don't know, it sounds kinda tacky if you ask me. I'm telling you, man, modern viewers eat this stuff up with a spoon, trust me. All we gotta do is serve it up nice and hot. A feast for the eyes. Thank you, Garrus, for the lurk. I hope that you've had a good day today. More like junk food for the brain. It's called Trash TV. Stop pulling out your money. Uh, but that little brat had to go and ruin everything with that accident of hers. You have any idea how many times they dragged me over here to prepare for today? You must know this theater pretty well if you came by that often. Oh, that gives me an idea. How about this? Mad mindscape of a magical murderous. Closest comrades come clean. Tell me, has Trucy always shown signs of being unhinged? When could you tell she was about ready to snap? I fucking hate this guy. Well, I don't think he gives it to you. I'm pretty sure he shoves it back into his pocket. This guy's cruising for a bruise in Apollo. As long as you don't get caught on camera. Truth be told, I'm not surprised about the way things turned out. Magicians are pretty much the dregs of society, am I right? What's that supposed to mean? Man, this guy seems like he's got it out for magicians. What were you doing at the time of the incident? Shooting a show in the station's studio. We got a whole bunch of girls in bikinis wrestle each other for the camera. 
So you didn't see the accident as it actually happened? That's right! That's why I was shocked when I first got here! So he didn't hear about the accident until he arrived, huh? You know what? I don't know. He probably puts it in his ass afterwards. It's the only thing that makes him feel alive anymore. I'm guessing what you really want to know is whether or not I have an alibi. Am I right? My staff at the TV studio can vouch for me. Why not go there and ask them yourself? You can give them my card and they'll let you in. Do so you have an alibi, huh? Good to know. I like how I didn't take his card because I was like, fuck this guy. Magicians are all a bunch of good-for-nothings if you ask me. Con artists and thieves is what they are. They trick people and take their money. Uh-huh. Coming from you, that's rich, pal. Magic tricks aren't the same as con jobs, you know. That's right. The people watching never feel like they've been cheated. Lawyer spouting hypocritical nonsense, or hypocritical nonsense. Big surprise there, LOL, and post. Wow, I hate him so much. Did he just post about us in real time? Those grammaries are all criminals. It's in their blood. Trucy Wright ain't no different. That girl is no good. She may look all sweet and innocent, but she's a stone-cold killer. Don't you dare talk about Trucy like that. You don't know the first thing about her. You won't find a sweeter, harder-working girl anywhere, period. <laughs> she got the wool pulled over your eyes, I see. What in the world are you talking about? You'll see, I'll dig up the dirt and expose the dark heart behind that sweet smile. I'll prove those grammary magicians are all a bunch of low lives. You have a grudge against Trucy? Or maybe against all of group no true grammar? Grammary? TV is a window to the truth. It's not like that magic stuff in the streetwise charlatans that perform it. It's a shame, a crying shame, I tell ya. What was that? Oh, it's supposed to be a fun, light-hearted program turned into this sorry affair. I have to sell it to news outlets all over the world if I'm gonna make my money back. Trucy Wright will make her debut, all right. Not as a magician, but as a criminal. Well, what? My duty to report it. Can't let a tragedy like this happen again now, can I? Even if she gets off somehow, I'll make sure she never walks the streets again. We won't let that happen. We won't let you do that to her. We're gonna prove her innocence in court, and then we're gonna fucking kill you. Ha! Huh. Listen to you acting all high and mighty. You're just another money grubber. I know you lawyers do things. You'll stop at nothing to win. Beg your pardon? If you win your trials, you get fat stacks, right? Is money really all you care about? What's with him, Apollo? Why won't he listen? But enough about you. I'm all about going after Trucy now. I won't stop until she's behind bars. That's how we and the media dish out justice. Before you even get to court, my expose is gonna take you down. Now, if I have anything to say about it, well, gotta get back to the station. Hang loose, baby. Wow. Looks like the prosecution won't be our only opponent this time. But no way are we gonna let that guy have his way either. That's right. Okay, we're done with this stage, so let's go someplace else. Still wish we could check that understage passage. What else can we investigate right now? It's probably going and talking to Trucy, but we're gonna finish up because we're at like seven hours in and I'm ready to eat some food because I haven't eaten since like 11 o'clock today, so that's going on. Like 10 hours. I need food. But man, we made a lot of progress. Look at his dumb face. I'm sorry, he's not dumb. Yes. Okay, we made a lot of progress. We're, we're most of the way through the investigation and then probably trial next time.